So now we have a different type of question. In the last one, we talked about having an area to the left. Here, we're going to be asking a question that says, what z-score corresponds to the top 10%? In other words, there's only 10% that is above this z-score. If you randomly select something, there's only a 10% chance of having a z-score that is above this value. How do we find that? It's the exact same trick that we just did before, except one little piece. We said that when we had an area and we were trying to find a z-score, the trick was to use i and v norm. But i and v norm really takes a value and wants a value that was the area to the left before it calculates a z-score for you. If we have this with 10% on the top, 10% to the right, what you have to do is figure out what is this area to the left. And the trick here is, remember, the area under the entire curve is 1. So if you do 1 minus this 10%, remember 10% is written as 0 0.10, that says that the area to the left is 0.9. 10% here means that we have 0.9 over here. So that's the number that we want to use with the I and V norm function. You plug in 0.9 here, and you grab your calculator, and you plug this in, you put in 0.9, and you get 1.28. So the z-score that would be the cutoff for the top 10% that corresponds to a z-score where there is 10% above it would be 1.28.